morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushant Thakka. The top stories first. NCP chairman duo hold hours long meeting, party leaders unable to reach a common understanding. Top leaders of NCP press for party unity, seek ways to resolve the current crisis. Coronavirus claims one more life in the capital, number of infection crosses 15,000 mark. Modi visits carnage site in Ladakh amid standoff, China urges caution as tension escalates. And Messi reluctant to renew Barcelona deal, the Catalan club lags four points behind bitter rivals Real Madrid. And now the news in detail. Chairman duo of Nepal Communist Party KP Sharma Oli and Puspa Kamal Dahal held meeting for three hours yesterday to short out the differences among themselves. NCP General Secretary Bishnu Paudel and Standing Committee member Janardhan Sarma were also present during the meeting held at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatar. The leaders have decided to meet again today after yesterday's meeting failed to reach any conclusion. Meanwhile, the ruling NCP is holding its Standing Committee meeting at 11 a.m. today. According to NCP leaders, the chairman duo will hold talks before the meeting. Internal rift within the NCP has reached a boiling point in recent days. The Standing Committee meeting was cancelled on Thursday and the two chairmen decided to talk one-on-one -on -one as the crisis threatened the unity of the party. Top leaders of the ruling NCP organized a sit-in at the party headquarters yesterday to exert pressure on the leadership for unity within the party. The party seems to be on the verge of collapse after a rift between top leaders ensued at the standing committee meeting over Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's recent remarks. Demanding that the party should not split at this crucial moment, more than 40 influential leaders staged the sit-in at the party headquarters in Dhumbarai. Some of the leaders advocating for party unity include Dr. B.J. Powder, Jagannath Khatiwara, Thakur Gaire, Lekhnath Neopane, Robin Koirala, Bhaskar Kafle, Himal Sharma and Ram Kumari Jhakri. दबाब दिन को लाई भी नहीं आयो पार्टी कार्यलय में यह धरना बसने आयो धरना नहीं भानो मेलाई यो शांति पुनः ढंग वाले कि न वाने ये ती धेरे चिंता सा यो पार्टी को पार्टी ले कौशल रिस्टेबलिंग चा बने आधार में मुल्क को भाग्य रे भविष्य को अवस्था के उनसा बने कुरा जाए जब जोड़ी को था वानी the leaders demanded that the party should run in accordance to a set standard and system and not by the whims of the leaders. They drew the attention of the party leadership that unity is the need of the hour. They unanimously said that the party is above any individual leader. Top leaders of the ruling Nepal Communist Party are making efforts to resolve the internal rift within the party. The course of politics took a new twist after the government recommended prerogation of the ongoing session of parliament on Thursday. The recent rift within the party has cast a doubt on future course of action of the ruling party that enjoys two-third majority in the parliament. It has been learned that there is a lack of trust among the chairman duo. After the top brass leaders changed the agenda of the standing committee meeting repeatedly, some influential leaders took the initiative to broker a deal between the disgruntled sides. Party leaders have started bringing together the warring sides. The, le the leaders personally met with Chairman Duo K.P. Sharma Oli and Puspa Kamal Dahal after the standing committee meeting was postponed. They suggested the party leadership to remain united. NCP General Secretary Bishnu Paudel, Defence Minister Iswar Pokhrel, Chief Minister of Province 5 Sankar Pokhrel, Chief Minister of Gondaki Province Prithvi Subba Gurung and the Prime Minister's Advisor Bishnu Rimal are actively involved in unifying the warring sides. Likewise, NCP leaders Janardhan Sarma, Devendra Paudel, Haribol Gazurel and Energy Minister Barsaman Pun are also in talks with the Chairman duo to resolve the crisis. 
This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. Coronavirus has claimed the life of one person in Kathmandu. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, an 85-year-old male from New Banishwar, Kathmandu, died while receiving treatment for coronavirus at a private hospital in the capital. The deceased was also suffering from Parkinson's disease and high blood pressure. He died on July 1st, informed spokesperson at the Health Ministry, Dr. Jageshwar Gautam. With this, the total death toll due to the coronavirus in the country has reached 32. Kathmandu Noya Bane Surbasne, Ucha Rakta Chabra Parkinson's Ko Samasya Bhaeka, Pachasi Varsia Purus, Kathmandu Ko Ek Niji Aspatal Ma, Chhati Dukhe Ko Ra, Pishab Kam Bhaeko Samasya Ka Karan Aspatal Pugnu Bhaeko, Aspatal Ko ICU Ma Isolation Ma Rakhi Upachar Bhaeko, Ra Upachar Kei Kram Ma Miti Dujajar Satatar, असार सत्र गते राती एगार बजे मिर्तु भाय को रवा मा कोरोना पोजिटिव देखिये को थियो. Meanwhile, the number of coronavirus infection in the country has crossed the 15,000 mark. 740 new cases were confirmed yesterday, taking the tally to 15,249. 4,483 मद्दे 740 जनाय पोजिटिव देखिये को छा. Meanwhile, the government has also decided to conduct PCR tests of cancer and diabetes patients. Similarly, patients admitted in ICU, emergency ward, as well as citizens and health professionals staying at pocket zones will also undergo coronavirus test, Dr. Gautam further informed. Coronavirus test will be conducted by all government, private and community hospitals. Emergency ma aune birami aru, ICU ma varna baheka. बिरामी हरू र पकेट एरिया बाट मा बसने अरुमानी सरू र स्वाथ्य कर्मी हरू वहां हरू को टेस्ट गरी देचा र किल्निकल समन्ने समित गो मीटिंग बाट सरकारी सामुदाई तथा निजी अस्पताल मा बिरामी हरू को उपचार गरने बेबस्ता मिलाई ये को चा so far, the government has conducted more than 242,247 tests through PCR method. Likewise, the number of RDT stands at RDT stands at 300,629, according to Dr. Gautam. At present, over 35,000 persons are kept in quarantine across the country. Similarly, 9,084 persons are undergoing treatment in isolation. According to the ministry, altogether 6,143 persons have recovered from the disease so far. Nepali Congress President Sher Bahadur Deuba has expressed annoyance towards his party's student wing, Nepal Student Union. President Deuba expressed dissatisfaction towards the student union at a blood donation program organized by NSU Kathmandu to commemorate the 96th birth anniversary of NC leader Girija Prasad Koirala. President Deuba said the NSU has been inactive when it is needed the most. The NC president directed the student wing to provide service to citizens all across the country during the current crisis. The party will soon decide the date for NSU's general convention, Deoba said. He also requested NSU not to conduct any program involving large crowd in, during the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking at the same program, NSU President Rajiv Dungana said NSU will continue to warn the government against any wrong activities. Condolence programs were organized all across the country, including in the valley, on occasion of NC leader Girija Prasad Koirala's birth anniversary. The Federation of Nepalese Journalists, FNJ, staged protest demanding job security for working journalists amid a program held in the valley yesterday. FNJ held demonstrations demanding the implementation of Working Journalist Act, guarantee of job security, including others. FNJ held protests at Babar Mahal Kathmandu following incidents of working journalists getting sacked, wage reduction and employers sending them on unpaid leave during the lockdown. 
The protest will continue until the problems faced by working journalists are properly addressed, FNJ said. FNJ has also scheduled protest programs that include picketing media houses that have been involved in the unfair treatment of working journalists during the lockdown. And now the news from the economic front. The per capita income of an average Nepali has increased. According to a recent report published by the World Bank, the per capita income of an average Nepali has increased by $130 to reach $1,090. Last year, the per capita income was $960. The increase in the per capita was attributed to the data available until July 1st. With the latest increase, Nepal has changed from low-income generating nation to a lower middle-income generating nation. The goal now for Nepal is to make it to the list of the middle-income generating countries by 2030. The World Bank has been classifying all nations of the world on the basis of their per capita income. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. Welcome back and now the international news. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi yesterday flew to the northern border where Indian and Chinese troops are locked in a standoff, Reuters reported. According to the news agency, Modi said the military stood ready to defend his country. His comments prompted Beijing to call for restraint at the tense border area in the northern Himalayan region of Ladakh. Modi, making his first trip to the Ladakh region since the Indian army lost 20 soldiers in a clash with Chinese soldiers last month, said the country's commitment to peace should not be seen as a sign of weakness. India says Chinese troops have intruded across the line of actual control or the ceasefire line separating the two armies in the high-altitude Ladakh region. According to India, the clash on June 15th occurred because Chinese troops shot to erect defences on Indian side of the de facto border. China says the whole, whole of the Galwan Valley where the clash occurred is its territory and it was frontline Indian troops that had breached the border. China's foreign ministry said on Friday the two countries were holding talks to reduce tensions. The most serious crisis on the India-China border in years has erupted while Beijing is embroiled in disputes over the South China Sea, Taiwan and its tightening grip over Hong Kong. At least 19 pilgrims of Pakistan's minority Sikh community were killed when a train collided with a passenger van in eastern Pakistan yesterday, Reuters reported, citing Pakistani officials. According to the police, the dead, which include two children, were all residents of the western Pakistani city of Peshawar, home to most of the Pakistan's nearly 40,000 Sikhs. The accident occurred at an un unmanned railway crossing close to the city of Sekhpura in Pakistan's largest province, Punjab, according to Pakistan Railways. The 19 killed were all passengers seated in the van, travelling from the town of Nankana, Sahib to Farukabad. Both sides were covered by followers of Sikhism. You are watching Janata Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. Barcelona superstar Lionel Messi has reportedly called off negotiations over renewing his contract with the Catalan club, according to media reports. Spanish radio Cadena C said in a report yesterday that Messi is ready to leave Barca when his current deal expires in 2021. According to Reuters, the report says Messi had begun discussing renewing his, 
his last deal with the club, which was signed in 2017. But he no longer wishes to stay at the camp now. The report added that Messi is angry but leaked media reports that appear to make him seem responsible for events at the club such as the January sacking of coach Ernesto Villaverde. He is also frustrated about the squad's lack of quality. The Argentine's representatives and Barcelona did not immediately respond to requests for comments. Messi, who turned 33 last month, scored his 700th career goal on Tuesday against Atletico Madrid. But the milestone strike ended in disappointment as Barca threw the game 2-2 in the latest blow to their bed to retain the Spanish title. Barca trailed Real Madrid by four points in the title race with five games remaining after Real beat Getafe 1-0 on Thursday. Manchester City starlet Leroy Sané has signed a five-year contract with Bayern Munich. The German winger, 24, moved to the German capital for an initial fee of about £44.7 million that could rise to £54.8 million with add-ons. Sané had joined City from Schalke in 2016 for £37 million and won two Premier League titles, the FA Cup and two League Cups. Sané was also a key part of the City team that won a domestic treble last year but has been injured for much of this season. In 135 appearances for the Premier League side, he scored 39 goals and made 45 assists. Sané, who has 21 caps for Germany, will start training with Bayern next week but he cannot play for them in the Champions League this season due to contractual obligations. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. NCP Chairman Duo hold hours-long meeting, party leaders unable to reach a common understanding. Top leaders of NCP press for party unity, seek ways to resolve the current crisis. Coronavirus claims one more life in the capital. Number of infection crosses 15,000 mark. Modi visits carnage site in Ladakh amid standoff. China urges caution as tension escalates. And Messi reluctant to renew Barcelona deal. The Catalan club lags four points behind the bitter rivals Real Madrid. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. We urge all our viewers to follow healthy hygienic practices to keep safe from any infection. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.